time to play Super Rico Fight. Playing more than more than two human players requires a supporter pack. Thank you for understanding and support. Okay, fair enough. Let's play just me against AI. Okay, so the controls are control. And I have to try and shoot this guy. This other guy. What in the fuck? I got wrecked. This sounds strange because it is fucking strange. I feel like aiming is possible. It's just very weird and difficult. This is not what I expected, I'll be honest. Oh, I won! I won, guys! Might just become your strange awesome, but the shooting sound effects is becoming annoying. No, it is quite annoying. I can't even mute it though. It can't be muted. I will turn the sound off for you guys. I'm just gonna have to live with it. It's either annoying or boring, basically. It's it's a fun game, but the sound is killer. Playing by yourself, it's boring? Yeah, this would be a good party game. It would be a great party game. Unfortunately, you have to pay to be able to play with other computer players. I'm actually gonna give it a bad review because of the misleading marketing of calling it free to play, which it's not. The main part of the game and the only reason you would pay is behind a paywall. Yeah, exactly. Like, I won't lie, it's fun, but it would be so much more fun with friends. Does it say that on the store page? I don't think so. One button projector border shooter that recalls the fun of a coin-op arcade for up to four players on a single keyboard. Time to shot run, right to win against friends, AI or both. It's 18 Rand, it's not bad, but it's not free to play. I would be willing to pay 18 Rand for it though. I just wish they would tell you that it would cost you that much up front. But it's, the DLC is called Supporters Pack, so it doesn't sound like it's really necessary. It's a bit deceptive, I think. You made a game similar to this at school? Yeah, I can't imagine it was very difficult to make. I feel like this was made by shooting in a few days. Yeah, probably. I would not doubt that. Then I have to edit this so hard to make it interesting on YouTube? Yeah, fucking hell. I'll have to put some uh, royalty-free music in the background and shit like that, because the game audio itself is god-awful. I am bored. I am very bored. I don't actually know if it would be that fun with friends anymore. There are so many better party games out there. It's definitely better than Tornado but it's still not very good. Yay, I won! Yay! Bye, motherfucker! Wow! Let's give fucking... What was that called? Super Recoil Fighters Review. Mechanics, it gets a 4 out of 10. The mechanics were genuinely fun. They weren't amazing, but they were not as bad as the rest of the game. Graphics get a 2 out of 10. That game, it didn't look like anything. So, I mean, it's, it, it's not awful, but it's not really achieving it. I'm actually gonna give it a 3 out of 10 on graphics, but like, that's, give, that's a push. That is a push. Sound gets a 1 out of 10. The only thing that saved the sound from getting not getting a 0 out of 10 was that it had a purpose. General Impressions is a 3 out of 10. So it's it's better than Tornado. It's the second worst game played today. My verdict on it overall is it could potentially be a fun single player party game. Multiplayer though is deceptively hidden behind a paywall. Paywall of only 18 Rand but it is still deceptive. It doesn't tell you that you have to pay to actually be able to play the game because single player does not count as playing the game because it's so boring and pointless. The sound achieved a purpose hence the 1 out of 10 and not a 0 out of 10 because it was so god awful and annoying. I had my headset off the whole time. I had it muted for you guys because Wow, that was terrible. That was really, really bad. That was Super Recoil Fight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that the video was so short. Regarding my review of the game, I will say that the audio did grow on me while I was editing, but I still wouldn't raise it much above a 1 out of 10. Maybe once I got used to it, it could raise itself up to a 2 out of 10. At quite, quite a push, but I will still give the game a generally negative review. Because of the DLC thing, it might be 18 Rand, and 18 Rand's very little in dollars. It's about a dollar. It's nothing consequential. It's nothing I really care about paying for a game, but the fact that the game markets itself as free to play when in reality there is no free to play game the game i played in this video was not a game it was not content it was an excuse to buy a dlc an excuse to sell a dlc and i will admit that as a party game it would have been fun i admitted that a few times in the video and i would like to play it with friends sometime it would be fun to try it out but there are better party games out there super smash bros is the first example to come to mind although that is quite a lot more expensive than 18 rand but it doesn't do anything when it comes out of early access hope they fix the audio maybe make it free to play or make it full on behind a pay well, either I would, I would be fine with. I'd be happy if they put it behind a paywall of 100 Rand as long as they say, hey, this game costs 100 Rand. Not, hey, this game's free to play, but if you want to play it, you have to pay 18 Rand. That's just deceptive marketing, and I was very disappointed by it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm sorry it was short, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And I hope you will watch my next video, which should be out on Friday. So drop a subscription if you want to see when that goes up. And ding that bell if you want to be notified even further. Or join my Discord server. I have a notification system there as well. Join the Discord anyway. It's good banter in there. Follow me on Twitter.
Twitter, and I will see you guys in my next stream if you watch it, or just watch the next video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and I appreciate you. Goodbye.